The fifth generation of the Honda Prelude is the latest in a line of models that have been in production for over 20 years. Some fans of charged cars tend to become owners of this sports coupe. But is it worth contacting him? A long hood, a low roof, a predatory mouth of the air intake and a squat body, everything seems to radiate energy. Prelude resembles a predator before a jump. In this model, the breed of real sports cars is felt. She, like all other generations of Prelude, was produced only with the coupe body. Its galvanized panels resist corrosion well, only the arches of the rear wings are affected by the red disease. The presence of rust in other places can only mean one thing, this instance was poorly repaired after the accident. The sparkling body should also alert, perhaps the car was recently painted for the reason we have already named. In any case, when buying a Prelude, you need to show it to bodybuilders so that they can assess whether the body geometry is broken. Certain information can also be given by the dispersers by checking the angles of installation of all wheels in relation to the body. Once in the car, you begin to merge with it. Landing on the front seats is sporty low, it seems as if you are sitting right on the pavement, straight legs are stretched forward almost parallel to the floor. All the necessary controls are placed at your fingertips. In a semi-recumbent position, everything is visible, there are no comments on visibility. Even the rear clearance is easy to feel, especially in models with the rear spoiler. True, some drivers in versions with the mechanics complain that when they turn on the second and fourth gears, they rest their elbows on the lid of the glove box located between the front seats. In addition, taller than average front passengers sometimes complain that even with the seat fully retracted, they cannot stretch their legs normally. Weak and soundproofing. The landing formula of this compartment is 2 plus 2 but only the ignorant will willingly agree to accompany the main crew. First, getting in and out of the rear seats is like an acrobatics trick, and it's easy to hit the top of your head on a doorway. Secondly, having climbed there, you need to immediately tighten your legs, as there is a risk that the front passengers, adjusting their seats in length, this must be done every time after reclining it, will injure your lower limbs. Thirdly, you can sit in the back only by wrapping your knees around the backs of the front seats. And finally, when driving over bumps, passengers of slightly above average height can feel bumps on the glass of the trunk lid hanging overhead. But this charged coupe is not for carrying passengers. Take a look at the owner. The range of engines designed for the Prelude included two petrol engines, a 2.0-liter F20A4 and a 2.2-liter volume, which were successfully run in on their predecessor. The first power unit was borrowed from the Accord model. The second engine is equipped with a proprietary VTEC variable valve timing system and, depending on the degree of forcing, produces different powers, from 185 to 220 horsepower. On right-hand drive Japanese versions. True, there is also a simple version of the 2.2-liter engine without VTEC, 160 horsepower. We officially sold cars with a 185 horsepower engine. This engine, especially when paired with mechanics, gives amazing dynamics. Many call it two-in-one. Thanks to the work of VTEC, it seems that two motors are installed under the hood. The first operates up to 5,000 RPM, providing powerful smooth acceleration. But as soon as the tachometer needle passes the above line, the second turns on. It seems that the car has been pushed and given a second wind to accelerate. On other Honda models, these same engines are able to go out under 400,000 kilometers and on the Prelude they are often rolled to 150,000 kilometers. According to the mechanics of the branded service station, on other models, Honda power units, with timely maintenance, are able to go out to overhaul almost 400,000 kilometers, but on the Prelude, excessively hot riders often rolled them already to 150,000 kilometers. Therefore, the residual life of the motor depends on the driving style of the car owner. Repairing the motor is expensive, about 8,000 UAH. In general, there were no characteristic malfunctions of the Prelude motors. Every 40,000 kilometers, the valve mechanism needs to be adjusted for thermal clearances. The timing belt is changed every 100,000 kilometers, period for the original spare part, along with the guide and tension rollers, as well as the balance shaft drive belt. The pump is also driven by the timing belt, but it is able to go out two of its service life. All Preludes are front-wheel drive vehicles. They were aggregated with 5-speed manual gearboxes and 4-speed Tiptronic automatics with the possibility of manual gear shifting. The 
Automatic was equipped with an adaptive control program that adapts to the owner's driving style and changes the gear shift moment depending on this. 60% of these cars are equipped with automatic, which is rather strange for a sports car. As the mechanics said, an automatic transmission paired with a 2.2 liter engine, as a rule, does not serve for a long time, a powerful engine quickly kills and burns out friction clutches, bearings, etc. Depending on the temperament of the owner, the automatic lives 20 to 100,000 kilometers. But the automatic transmission with the 2.0 liter engine walks much longer. Mechanics is more tenacious, although hot heads manage to roll it too. Usually the synchronizers of first and second gears die first. The first signs are difficult switching on when the oil is not heated, and in advanced cases, constantly. MCP repair is cheaper, about 600 UAH. Spare parts and 1000 UAH. Work. Although this is not the limit, if you have to replace other parts. The hydraulic clutch lasts for a long time and without problems. Many Prelude owners note that this car behaves confidently when driving at high speeds and excellent road holding during active cornering. And all this is thanks to the independent multi-link design of the front and rear suspensions, made according to a fundamentally identical scheme, two wishbones and one longitudinal, plus anti-roll bars. A serviceable suspension with native 16-inch wheels is characterized by moderate rigidity, allowing you to drive quite tolerably on our roads, and is distinguished by amazing survivability. But for tuning enthusiasts who install 17-inch wheels, the chassis becomes stool stiff and wears out faster. However, when it does come time to repair the suspension, get ready for waste, it will cost a lot. So, for example, the upper arms are supplied with ball bearings, even a non-original spare part is about 1000 UAH, the lower wishbones are supplied with silent blocks, the spare part is 1250 UAH, the rear bearing is supplied with the hub, the spare parts are 1200 UAH. The rest of the rubber bands are changed separately from the levers, for example, Silent blocks of trailing levers, spare part, 300 UAH. The steering is quite sharp and informative. It is equipped with a power steering that changes the degree of gain depending on the speed of move. There are no comments on the reliability of these nodes, even the steering tips are able to go out up to 100,000 kilometers. In addition, on top versions with a 2.2 liter unit, a fully controlled 4WS system was used. It is arranged as follows. On the front steering rack there is a sensor that monitors the angle of rotation of the front wheels, which, together with the ABS speed sensor, transmits information to the 4WS system control unit. He, having processed it, in turn gives a certain command to the stepping motor, which turns the rear wheels by means of steering rods. At low speed, they turn in the opposite direction from the front wheels, and at high speed, in the same direction. 4WS provides the car with excellent maneuverability turning radius is 15% less than a conventional car, only 4.7 m, and amazing handling in turns at high speeds. Although many note that in winter on slippery roads it can cause more problems for an unprepared driver, as it falls into a skid more than front controlled versions, and it is much more difficult to stabilize the car. The main problem of many Prelude is overly active owners who simply roll this car. Typical 4WS problems are wear on the working surface on the steering rack at the point of contact within of the sensor of the fully controlled system. As a result, the sensor gives incorrect information, which leads to the failure of 4WS. According to experts, it simply turns off and is inactive, without affecting the safety of the ride. The treatment of the disease is the grinding of the shaft. Otherwise, 4WS is reliable, and troubles arise due to unskilled intervention, for example when adjusting the toe of the rear wheels, or after an accident. There are no complaints about the reliability of the brakes, they serve for a long time and without problems. Although, when driving aggressively, owners often complain that regular brakes overheat and lose effectiveness. Experts advise tuning the brake system by installing more powerful brake mechanisms, for example, the American Power Slot Kit, about 10,000 UAH. A more budget option is to use high-temperature sports brake pads, for example, Hiroto DS2000, DS3000 series. Take your favorites according to experts, the main problem of the Prelude is overly active owners, who quite quickly roll this car and, not wanting to get involved in expensive repairs, put it up for sale. If you do not want to throw away money to restore ruined components and assemblies, buy a car only after qualified diagnostics.
and even better, a copy that was in the hands of a true fan of the model. As a rule, they watch and constantly care for their pets. True, such prelude are noticeably more expensive, 